Oh, that's a good girl. Are you a hot dog? It's not really even that hot out. It's not that bad. You got water right over there. You can go get another drink. All right. Folks, just about everybody watching has a front end loader and a bucket on their tractor. And most of these buckets are just plain Jane, nothing going on there, but there's a lot of ways to enhance the versatility and the usefulness in general of your loader bucket. And we've shown these kind of one at a time in a lot of different videos over the years. Some we have not shown at all. Most of these products we either carry or we have a partner that carries them, but there are a few that we don't have anything to do with. I still felt they were worth including. And if you guys think of any others that are out there, why don't you let everybody know by leaving a comment down below. And you can see a few of these bucket accessories on display here, so let's take you through it. First one over here on the Summit TX25, they're gonna make an add -a grapple from Precision, okay, for pretty much any bucket that's out there. You get to a certain width, man, I think it's 60 inches and wider, you can actually get a, a double jaw that you can add on. And so basically you drill out a few holes on your bucket, and you bolt on the added grapple, so then you don't have to have a separate grapple. You kind of treat the, the bottom of the bucket as the bottom jaw of the grapple. A lot cheaper way to get into a grapple functionality. It doesn't mean you don't have to have the extra hydraulics to operate it though. Now, while the Summit TX25 does come standard with this third function valve up front, a lot of tractors, most tractors are not gonna have that there. So if you need to add on the extra hydraulics, you can get it from your dealer, but oftentimes they're gonna be very expensive, or you can go to summit-hydraulics.com, get a DIY kit, do it yourself in just a couple of hours. You can save 5% with code GWT. So go to our website to get information on the Precision Add a Grapple, but speaking of saving 5%, you're gonna look at two more accessories here for your bucket. The tooth bar from Heavy Hitch down below, and then these JU Fabworks bucket brackets that are up top. Now what I really like about this tooth bar is the fact that you don't need to drill any holes in your bucket. It's actually gonna have a bunch of Allens that you tighten down on there. And this is actually, this has not been off my bucket in uh, over a year, maybe two years. And it stays in place very well. It's pretty crazy to think that it can do that, but it does. But having these teeth that are up front really enhance the ability to dig into a, a pile of dirt or mulch or stone or dig down in the ground and rip things up too. It's a lot more effective to have individual little points that are digging in and clawing through things versus one long, flat, smooth edge. That can be very problematic, but if you do need to transition back to that smooth edge because maybe you wanna get a nice flat plane, all you do is just allen it off. Now that tooth bar is available in a variety of sizes, colors too, so it doesn't have to be John Deere green, you can get black, you can get orange. Go to heavyhitch.com, save 5% with code GWT. Same thing with these bucket brackets, all right? You can get them in black and orange and green. They're gonna be made specifically to fit different buckets from different manufacturers. JU even has a universal bucket bracket so that there's just so many brands out there, right? There's gonna be a universal one that's designed to fit most any other bucket that's not a Kubota or a John Deere. You have a lot of different options. We've shown them in videos too. You have you know, these D-rings here, you have the chain hooks two inch receiver, you can get one for the center, one for the, for the corners, mix and match whatever you want to have the setup that you need. Besides enhancing the versatility of the bucket with these bucket brackets though, it also reinforces the top edge of these John Deere buckets. Their standard duty bucket is not the strongest. Um, it's very prone to, to bending and warping all along this top edge, so having these brackets on there not only gives you more usefulness out of the bucket, but also reinforces and protects it too. Now, something that I need to get a couple of myself, and I still haven't done so, are gonna be from Muds Customs. You can get these clamp-on trash can or recycling can movers, all right? And for us, we have a 800 foot plus driveway now, and it is a pain, especially when it's trash and recycling day, to move all those cans down there and then back up. Not so much in the summer, but when you get to winter time, it'd be nice to get that job done as quick as possible. And so that's something that you can just easily clamp on and off your bucket edge, pick up your trash cans and haul them down, and then reverse the process when after everything's collected. And while that product there specifically is for your bucket, they do have a ton of different products over at mudscustoms.com where you can you can really trick out your tractor. You can get uh, steps to make it easier to climb on and off. You can get tie down brackets for the front and the back of your tractors. You can get grab handles to mount to the loader, mirror brackets and mirrors, all sorts of stuff over there that you can save 5% with code GWT. For those of you that have to deal with snow and deal with snow on a budget, you tend to want to use your bucket because you already have it there. And while I've done a lot of videos on what I, well, the pros and cons of using your bucket to remove snow, 
for some of us, that's just what we have to deal with. However, if you have a paved driveway, asphalt, or maybe concrete, or even a decorative stone or paver, you want to use something besides your steel edge on there to remove that snow. It could easily damage the surface that you're plowing, leave a lot of rusty stain marks that will go away with time, and then also oftentimes cause uneven wear, especially at the corners of your bucket edge, making it, well, giving it a shorter lifespan. So there is something you can do. You can add on a UHMW. It's like a hard plastic edge, all right? And so you will need to drill out some holes if you don't already have pre-drilled holes in your bucket edge. But this material is gonna be perfect for tackling those paved surfaces. It's gonna protect the driveway. It's nice and quiet too. That's another benefit. It's very long lasting. You'll see it advertised as being as hard as steel. I don't think it's quite that wear resistant, but it's a very durable material. It'll last a long time. It's gonna scrape through packed snow very well, unlike a, a rubber edge would do. So you're gonna get a lot of the same benefits as using your steel bucket edge, but you're gonna get the protection on your driveway, the protection on your bucket. You can just unbolt it when it's springtime and you're all done with it for the season and go back to normal use. And so when you see that on our website, you're gonna to wanna to get the really thick stuff, okay? It's the two by four, all right? It's two inches thick, four inches deep. And then you just get a, a length that's as long as your bucket. We'll pack it up and send it out to your UPS ground, but make sure you get that thick stuff. The reason we do that is so that you can countersink bolt heads into the material. That way those steel heads, as the material wears down, are not scraping along the plowing surface, that would be detrimental. So it gives you plenty of material to still countersink through and keep those bolt heads off the ground. Now, not too long ago, we showed you some battle armor forks and these forks are a pretty ingenious design. At the moment, okay, they are only available for 72 inch buckets and wider. However, they're coming out with a 60 inch version and then potentially even a version to fit 48 inch buckets too, all right, with some nominal lengths, like maybe a 48 to 54 inch and a 60 to a, 68 inch bucket, that kind of thing. So they'll fit a little variety in space there. Um, they're gonna be coming out with those soon, so check out our website for more information. But these forks, they stay right on your bucket, okay? So they kind of flip back and out of the way, but you can take them along, so when you need them, they're there. You don't have to carry a whole separate attachment. They have kind of an optional brush guard that's included as well. You can get hay spears for them, all sorts of different things. I kind of offered up my own suggestion that maybe they go with a universal color like black instead of green and orange. And so they may be transitioning to that as well. Just throwing it out there. It's, I don't think it's set in stone yet, but something to keep on the radar. But either way, a lot of great feedback on those and smaller sizes coming soon. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Now, speaking of forks, all right, we're on to a couple of items that I don't sell myself, but these are available. You can get them on Amazon and other places too, I'm sure, but you can get clamp-on forks, all right? If you don't wanna get the battle armor forks to stay in your bucket, if you don't wanna get a traditional set of forks, which I've definitely done some pros and cons on why I don't like the clamp-on forks, but you can get them, they'll clamp onto your bucket. You can get um, a couple that are just individual. You can get a couple of them that have a brace in there because one of the problems is those forks tend to wanna to wander side to side and they don't just stay in place very well. Do be careful with clamp-on forks. They're a cheap way to get into the fork game if you're only gonna be doing very occasional and, and in my opinion, light duty stuff with them, you'll see guys that, that end up bending the bottom of their bucket, probably just pushing them beyond their, their limitations. Uh, sometimes those forks will fall off. There's, you gotta set them up the right way. I don't think they're a great solution. We have a lot of folks that start out with those clamp-on forks and then upgrade to a regular set of pallet forks. But if you need something in a pinch and on a budget, it's an option for you. On top of that, something else that I actually stumbled upon when I was just kind of looking up some listings for the clamp-on forks are debris forks that actually clamp on as well. A bunch of different little fork tines that come out to really add some length to your bucket. Okay, so maybe doubling the, the length, you know, front to back of your bucket there. Now you can just pile on debris like brush and maybe leaf piles and other things like that. And again, these are pretty budget friendly as far as tractor accessories and attachments go. And so I have had a few folks wanting solutions like this that I, I just don't carry myself, but lo and behold, here they are on Amazon. So if you have any feedback with that kind of an attachment, let us know. Now something I have seen a while back, 
I don't have any relationship with them at all, and I haven't heard anything about them in a while. It's something called the Bucketeer. Again, a similar kind of thing to the debris forks, a little bit of a different concept and design, but they utilize clamping onto the bucket itself as well. They look like they're a viable option, again, for the right application and with the right expectations. That's what you have to go in with uh, some of these attachments and accessories is that, you know, sometimes when you are trying to, oh, maybe, I don't, cutting corners maybe isn't the right word, but it kind of paints a picture of the concept anyways, you can't have the same expectations as you as you would with a dedicated set of tools, like with the clamp-on forks versus a traditional set of pallet forks. You gotta lower your expectations based on what you're buying, right? So just bear that in mind, and, and it could be the solution that still fits the bill for you. And to round out this list with a couple more items I have no affiliation with at all, I just know that they exist, all right? Edge tamers are very popular, okay? Another cheap solution. They're gonna go onto your bucket, they clamp on, you get two or three of them, whatever you need there, and they're gonna be a good way to remove snow. They're gonna keep your bucket edge off the ground, and so you are gonna have a gap underneath there, but you know, they're a pretty cheap way to get into the snow removal game. Again, for the same reasons as protecting the driveway that you're plowing, to protect your bucket, all that kind of thing, and a good maybe stop gap, you know, maybe a snow pusher or a snow blower or a plow or whatever in the future budget, maybe a year or two down the road, and this is a cheap way to get you into the safe snow removal game in the short term. And lastly is the ratchet rake. And I know over the years I've had a few folks tell me that this worked really well for them. I don't have any personal experience with it. I do know they've been selling it for a long time, and so I would think that they've kind of proven out and maybe perfected uh, their system as best they can, but this just kind of clamps onto the front of your bucket edge and is kind of like a rake for your bucket. And it probably has, you know, better applications than others depending on what you want to do with it but it's a pretty cool innovation a good way to do it and you ratchet the rake to your bucket that's that, that's where the name comes from there so check that out if you want to get some more information on it at ratchet rakes website but know that we don't sell that product ourselves so folks there you have it a whole bunch of ways i think we rattled off 10 or 11 something like that but a lot of ways to kind of soup up your bucket and make it more versatile maybe more unique protect it all sorts of stuff and so Read the description. I'll probably put a comment up top too with a bunch of links in it as well. And again, a lot of the stuff we do sell on our website or through partners where you can use that code GWT to save 5%. And a few of them we don't have any affiliation with at all, but perhaps mention you found them through GWT and who knows, maybe in the future, we'll be able to set something up. But we do sell all sorts of tractor attachments for the front end loader and the three point hitch. We ship all over the country too. Go to goodworkstractors.com to see what we have for you. We've got over 700 videos out there right now. So all sorts of tractor stuff, tractor projects, tractor stuff in action, all right? So check that out. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.